What's up guys? LQ here with the LQ Review and I'm here to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that I love to talk about. That's what we do right here at the LQ Review. Talk about movies, video games, comic books, TV shows. If it's nerdy, if it's geeky, I love to talk about it here. Right now I want to give you guys my review on the Netflix original movie, The Wrong Missy. And that is um, a Happy Madison production. One of the Happy Madison production um, productions that, that is under the deal that Netflix has with Happy Madison. This one stars David Spade and um, Lauren... What, how do you say her last name? Lauren Lapkus. Lauren Lapkus. And um, it's a comedy about a middle-aged guy played by David Spade who goes on a blind date with a girl named Missy played by Lauren Lapkus, and it's a total, utter disaster. And he doesn't ever want to see her again. And then he ends up meeting, by chance, an attractive woman named Missy. So he meets two Missies, and he's got both their numbers in his cell phone. Well, he gets to go on a company retreat, um, and he texts Missy, asking if she wants to go and if she wants to go meet him at the airport and she's like heck yeah I want to go and when he gets to the airport he learns that he texted the wrong Missy he texted the first one not the second one so it's about him going on this trip with this woman that he had a blind date with that was an utter disaster the first time so let's talk a little bit about this movie David Spade ta plays Tim Morris and and you know this is the kind of role that um you don't typically see David Spade in. He plays kind of the straight guy in this movie. He plays the person that all the crazy stuff happens to, and he's the one reacting to it. Uh, you know, I think about, like, the Grown Ups movies. He was the crazy one in those movies. You know, I think about lots of David Spade movies, and he's often the crazy guy. Not always. Remember, he often played the straight guy to Chris Farley's craziness a couple decades ago. So David Spade is no... Um, novice at playing that straight guy that has to react to all the craziness that's happening around him. Um, Lauren Lapkus plays Missy. She She's a tough character in this movie. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean, in the beginning of the movie, you don't like her at all. She is... The actress is playing it big and playing it crazy. Playing it to the point where you don't like the character She's so big and so kind of in-your-face offensive that you just don't like the character. This is a romantic comedy. So at some point during the, sh during the movie, David Spade starts looking at her in a different light. And it's predictable. That's something I'm going to talk about in a minute. This movie is very predictable. So you predict that he's going to start looking at her in a different light. As he starts looking at her in a different light... Her character actually goes through a change. She actually becomes less offensive, less bombastic. She even starts dressing in lighter tones. Everything about the character becomes easier to digest at this point in the movie. So that's why I, I, I found this character hard to get into. But at the same time... She, Lauren Lapkus does a great job with the character. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense. How she wanted to play it is, you know, she got across what she wanted to accomplish. I just don't know if I like the direction of being so big and so bombastic and so offensive in the beginning of the movie. Um, you know, she played Denise in The Big Bang Theory. She was in Jurassic World. You know, she's somebody who's seeing her star, sh star start to rise a little bit. And... Um, She's a very funny person, but I just don't know that, I don't know. I, I liked her in this movie. I thought she did a good job, but I didn't really care for the character until it started to make that change. Uh, Molly Sims plays the other Melissa. Um, Molly Sims is great, and the other Melissa is barely in it, but I just thought I would point out that Molly Sims is a presence in this movie, but not much. Some in the beginning, some at the end. Um... Nick Swartzen plays plays Nate, and, and Nick Swartzen is another guy who's usually crazy, usually crazy. Um, 
just that he's usually one of those actors that plays a cartoon is usually what Nick Swartzen does and in this one he also kind of plays a straight character um, somebody who's just playing it playing it normal um, but I always like to see Nick Swartzen pop up in these Happy Madison uh, features speaking of Happy Madison um, Rob Schneider is in this and Rob Schneider is a bright spot in this movie even though in this case Rob Schneider is playing a cartoon <laughs> he's playing a a um, um, you know, a, a guy that works near the water, um, takes people on shark excursions, and he's missing a hand because it got bit off by a shark. And uh, it's just a very cartoonish type character. And everything about Rob Schneider's character in this movie is just kind of played for laughs, but played for like cartoonish laughs. So, um, is this a good movie? Well, no, not really. It's saved by Lauren Lapkus. It's saved by her performance. She she does a very good performance. Even though I don't always care for the character, her performance is great in this. And to be honest with you, it's the most likable David Spade has been in a long time as well. I really enjoyed David Spade kind of going back to his Chris Farley days, where he's reacting to what's around him. Um, but as Lauren Lapkus' character became more likable, I found the movie to become more interesting. Um, and I found the movie to be more digestible at that point. Because at the beginning of the movie, she was acting in ways that nobody really acts. Like, she was a cartoon. And then she starts to kind of change into a real person as the, as the movie progresses. Overall, this is an extremely predictable movie. You know what's going to happen at the beginning. Once the plot is set in motion, you know exactly how it's going to play out. But that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes you can watch movies like this where you know how it's going to play out and you can still enjoy it for what it is. And that's kind of what I felt in this movie. This movie's not a good movie, but it's a movie that I enjoyed watching. And there was actually several big laughs that I got out of this. Um, overall, it doesn't have a high repeat, repeat watch factor, but I enjoyed watching it the first time. So I'm going to give The Wrong Missy a C+. It's not a train wreck. But it's not very good either. It kind of falls in that range where most Happy Madison movies fall. In that solid C area. Maybe low B. But Wrong Missy, I'm giving a C+. Have you seen Wrong Missy? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here at the OK Review. Where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll see you later.